A small army of dedicated caretakers arrive at sunrise on Wednesday morning to make sure Lincoln Financial Field, home to the Philadelphia Eagles, is ready for the big game on Sunday night. Tony Leonard is the Eagles' vice president of grounds. He leads a specialized team of a dozen groundskeepers. I recognize that there is a real science behind all of this, and I found out you have a degree in turf science, right? Yeah, a lot of us went on to be golf course superintendents, and I took the road less traveled to sports fields. Tony studied the physics and chemistry of grass and soil, a strong foundation for building the perfect field. Here at Eagle Stadium, field prep begins one year before NFL preseason on a sod farm in New Jersey. They provide us with our grass and we sod in August. We actually put the field in for a, a practice and a preseason game, took the field back out, did a concert, and put the field back in. And we started our regular season. Underneath the green gridiron, one foot of sand and soil, another half foot of gravel, plus 28 miles of biothermal heat piping. So I didn't realize there were so many layers underneath where we're standing right now. What is the point? So everything's about drainage. Uh, we also have a sub-air system here. A sub-air is like a vacuum system. So when it does rain, we're able to turn that machine on and it'll vacuum out the moisture. So whenever we do get a game like we had a few weeks ago, they can play that game without being in sloppy, muddy conditions. What is your number one priority being in charge of all of this? It's one is to make sure the players are safe. Safety is top of mind, especially at this moment in the concussion conversation, with some saying turf fields have a higher risk of injury to athletes. The Eagles play on a natural grass field, which starting running back Miles Sanders prefers. With the injuries and just the way turf feels, it don't feel good. Is that the biggest thing when it comes to grass, is like helping with injuries, or what else is it? You're more able to get like stuck and caught ACL injuries and, you know, need like dislocate and stuff. Defensive end Brandon Graham was first drafted to the Eagles 12 years ago. He has a deep appreciation for the groundskeepers behind the scenes. I'm here early around like five, six o'clock in the morning. And I see these guys out there getting the mist off the grass, trying to get the surface as right as it can be for practice uh, around one o'clock. It was my turn to suit up and join the crew for the day. First stop, mowing two acres of grass to three-fourths of an inch tall. It's resident mower Sean Mackin's second season here. You trust my driving more than I do. Might be straighter than my lines. Next, it was time to paint nearly 200 gallons a game for the numbers, yard lines, end zones, and of course, the team name. Eddie Harbaugh has been painting for six years. So wait, what happens if you ever like mess this up? Let's try not to find out. <laughs> <laughs> it's no easy feat, Tony says. Getting the grounds game day ready can take up to 500 hours of manpower per week. Do you still have pinch me moments when you stand back and you look at this? Yeah, we do. It's a great job to have, to be able to walk out here onto the field in the morning when everything's quiet, and just to sit back and look and say, you know what, we did this. Like, it was our staff, it was our organization. We put this product out here for everyone to see. I mean, so last night I kept saying, there's my E. <laughs> <laughs> Second from the right. So I asked Tony about the craziest thing he's ever found on the field after a game. You said beer can or something. No. He said a lot of athletes play with their own jewelry on. And so with the, all the sprints and tackles, those bracelets, oh. maybe necklace flies oh. off. And then the players are like, Tony, have you seen can you find? Oh, yeah, gosh. and they always find it. Oh because God. look at it. I mean, it's yeah. just... It's perfect. Yeah, it's it's, it's perfect. You were so funny because I said, how cool was that? And you're like, I was so nervous about the game because, yeah. like, I worked on the field. Like, what if anything if I didn't want to go on a trip or anything? And you know what? I'm so happy we're doing this series because there are so many, as we say, unsung yes. heroes to, that make the NFL move. Yeah. I haven't you know? thought about all the work that went oh, into it. Fun. Yeah. So great. And so. now you're part of the team. And you, since you helped the Eagles yes. pick up that big win, the team wanted to send you a little something. <gasps> oh, so yeah. there you have it. Oh my goodness. Go Eagles. Go Eagles. Yes. I love cute, it. Cute. Go Bird. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.